it's going. Hi Sam, it's good to see you again. Thanks, you too. Um, before we get started, we just want to go over the confidentiality agreement. Um, so I'm a student at Michigan Tech and in a counseling class, so we're just using uh, volunteers to interview. Um, a few things, this interview is confidential, but we will be recording it for uh, creating reasons. Um, the only person who will see that other than me is the supervisor. Um, a few things, if you talk about anything of serious issue of harm to yourself or a child of abuse or neglect, I will be required to report it. Um, other than that, if you feel uncomfortable at any time, you can stop the recording or you don't have to uh, answer any questions. Um, any questions you have about the confidentiality agreement? Okay. Oh, sounds good. So, last time, um, I didn't talk to you for very long, but we talked about um, just kind of feeling frustrated about the future a little bit, I think. Um, looking at getting a going to a master's program for prosthetics and um, talked a little bit about frustrations with your family or and them wanting to follow you and that's a lot of pressure on you. Uh, does that sound right? Yeah, yeah that's definitely it. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of, sometimes I feel like um, like where I choose that I want to go to grad school, like I'm basing it off of like what my parents want, what my twin sister wants, and like what my boyfriend wants. Um, yeah. So, um, tell me a little bit more about the pressure you're feeling from your family. Um, do your parents want you to stay close by, or how, how's the situation with your parents? Yeah, um, well, my parents, well, number one is mostly my mom, and she, because I go to school in Michigan Tech, it's nine hours away from home, so she's already feeling like I'm never at home, she never gets to see me. And so she wants me to go somewhere close by so that I can live at home or I'm close enough where she can come visit me, like, whenever she wants to. Um, which, like, I want that too. I do. Um, I'd like to be close to them, but... At the same time, like, I want to go to the school that, like, has the best program for me. So the school that she wants me to go to is Northwestern, which is in Chicago, so it's pretty close. And the first six months are online, so I can live wherever I want to, and so I can live at home. That's her idea. Um, and my twin sister is kind of the same. She wants to be close to me. Um, she's graduating this next year as well. She's going to be a teacher. Um, so she thinks that like she'll be able to follow me like wherever I go to school, and she'll just like, like, find a job in that town. But like I'm concerned because I know that Education is a very, very competitive field, and like, I mean, I don't know how easy it's gonna be for her to find a job just wherever I am. Mm -hmm. So that's tough. But I mean, if I go to Northwestern, then I could choose to follow her wherever she goes. And I could live with her. You mean after you're done? After, well, while I'm while I'm in school, like when it's online. Oh, okay. Um, and this is still me going to Northwestern. But my boyfriend, who I'm like 100 committed to, um. Like, he said that he would work um, in Battle Creek, like, for the two years that I'm in school, prosthetic school, going, if I was at Northwestern, but he really wants to move out west somewhere. And so there's this, there's a really good school in Washington um, for prosthetics, and it's a really prestigious school, it's very good. Um, and so, but that's, like, so far away, so I could choose to go there, and, like, which is really exciting because I've never been out west before and it just like sounds really cool and he would love that but um but then like my parents would be so upset and my sister would be so upset and it's just really hard like going between like what he wants and then like what my parents want and Courtney wants and then what I want it's just like I don't know <laughs> it's hard and how does your sister feel about out west I haven't told her I haven't told my parents either like I mean, they know that there's a school out there, but I haven't actually told them that, like, that's a place I'd consider going. Um, I'm afraid for how they'd react. Because I'm afraid they'd be like, oh, you just want to go out there because you want to do what Zach wants instead of, like, what we want. Like, we're your family, we come first type of thing. Yeah. And I don't want to get any negative, like, feelings towards him. That would suck. Mm -hmm. So. And how does your boyfriend feel about you staying or going to Northwestern? He's totally supportive. Like, he... 
he never like ever like pressured me like you should go out west but like when I talk about like oh there's a school in Washington he's like oh that's really cool you should definitely apply there type of thing so like I know that would be like a really great thing because I know he really wants that but like he would be on a hundred percent fine with me going to Northwestern okay. and I mean like if he chose to have a job somewhere at West Northwestern is online so I could like go out there with him um, and then just come back for the year where it's like in Chicago. Okay. So that could be a good conference, I guess, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, that could be something to think about. Um, what other school options are there? Are there a lot of schools? Or? There's, a, there's not that many, actually. There's like a, a handful. Some of them are really crappy. I observe at a place in Barria, and like they, I always ask them about the different schools, and they tell me which ones are good and which ones are bad. Um, so the best is like Northwestern, the one at University of Washington, and there's one down in Texas that's really good, but that's really far away. And then there's one, which I'm not even considering going to Texas because it's just far away and it's not really the location I really want. Yeah, that's I want to go to Texas. Texas. Yeah, but um, there's also uh, Eastern Michigan, which. I don't think it's a very good program, but other people tell me that it's pretty good, so I don't know. I don't really want to go there, though. And then there's one in Georgia, which is also kind of far away. And then, yeah, there's other ones that I'm applying to, I can't remember where they are now. So it's really just the two? That Washington and Northwestern, pretty much. And it's always been Northwestern. It only just started thinking about Washington because of my boyfriend, so. So, um, what other, like, what are your plans for applying then? Are you just going to apply to the two, or? I mean, no, I'm definitely going to apply to, like, everywhere I might possibly want to go. Probably even to Texas, like, because it is moderately competitive, and I don't want to be stuck not having gotten into anywhere, because I don't like waiting, <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, um, situation. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to definitely apply to as many as I possibly can. And, I mean, it'd be awesome if I just got into one, then my decision would be made for me, but... Yeah. <laughs> so, well, why don't we explore that? Um, what would be your plan if you did get into both of them? Uh, oh, jeez. Dealing with your boyfriend and your parents and sister? That would be really hard. I don't know. I mean, I'd have to talk to my family a ton. I haven't really looked at the money between the two. I think they're moderately like the same now, but I guess because it's in Washington, like that one would be more expensive just moving out there alone. Um, but they're both two-year programs, and after that, it's two years of residency, so they're both the same amount of time. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like Northwestern would be probably the best option because number one that's where I've wanted to go for a long time and number two like most of the people I work with at least I like people prosthetists I've shattered and stuff like they've all went to Northwestern and so I know a lot of people I have a lot of like references um and like my parents would like it and my parents would like it and Zach would be okay with it but like just like having like it just seems so much more exciting to go to Washington mm -hmm. like it's just so exciting it's like something new and like I don't know like when else I'll be able to like take a good like a big road trip out west you know going out west to school like that's a perfect opportunity it's close to like Yellowstone well like it's 10 hours from Yellowstone but it's closer to Yellowstone than like here like there's so many like new things to experience over there and mm -hmm. that's just exciting and that's something that like definitely entices me so long to go there. Tell me more about residency do you have to do it in the same area or is that no, something yeah. Different? Yeah, that's actually, that's a good point, because, yeah, a residency can be literally wherever I want, like, wherever I get a residency position, which could be anywhere, I guess, like, so, yeah, I mean, I could apply to have residencies in different states and places I want to be, but at the same time, like, that's just, like, a year, so I'd just be there for a year, and so then, like, having to, like, because, yeah, like, my boyfriend wouldn't want to come with me wherever I went, so I'd feel terrible him having to, like, quit his job for a year or whatever, like, so that's tough. Yeah, I don't know where I would choose residency. I guess it depends on, like, the situation I'm in after the two years of schooling, but... Mm -hmm. And what about after schooling? Would you consider moving at Western, or is that... 
What were your plans after that? Yeah, it's hard because like I've always wanted to stay close to Michigan, stay close to my family because I want to be able to take care of my parents when they start getting older. Mm -hmm. You know, and I want I want to be close with them. And I want to be close to Courtney. So I, I've always like I've never really considered moving away that far. Like Colorado was like the farthest I would consider moving, which that in itself, like my parents are like that's way too far. Um, but like now, like I guess just like having like a new boyfriend and like having him like what he wants, considering what he wants now is like he like loves the West, you know. So like now I like that is something that he's gotten me excited about, and so I'm really conflicted between between the two. And what are his plans? Would he want to move out there permanently or is he flexible? He's flexible. I mean, I don't know. He, <laughs> he like, that's like his like goal, like his dream would be to like live out west, but he knows that that's like not necessarily realistic. But like I've talked to him about it before and he said like, he's like said like, if I get a job out west, like after I graduate, I'm going there, like no matter what I'm going. But I know that like, he wouldn't just like leave me in the dust. I know he would do that, like we've talked about that before, so, but it's just like, like, I want him to be able to pursue his dreams, okay. and so like, I want to be able to like make that happen for him, I want him to be able to like have the dream life that he's wanted, so I, I mean, so I would like sacrifice things for him to do that, so I don't know, that's hard. It sounds like you're feeling uh, frustrated between um, wanting to choose a school that's close to your family and also paying attention to what your boyfriend wants and you also feel kind of guilty like and yeah. having to make sacrifices versus your family having to sacrifice their time with you um, for school uh, and your mom especially it sounds like is that correct? yeah yeah I think guilty is definitely a feeling that I have like the pressure to like like do what everyone else wants like like, I honestly, like, I couldn't care. I know that, like, wherever I am, I'll get a good education as long as, like, the program is good, which I've looked at just the schools with good programs. So, like, I, I'm not really, I guess for me, it doesn't really matter what school I go to. But, like, I definitely, like, I know that if I, like, went out west, it's hard way. Like, I feel so guilty about leaving my parents, leaving my family. And, like, Courtney, like, she, bless her heart, she, like, never would tell me, like, like, oh, Sam, I'm just so upset. Like, she would never tell me. She'd just be like have like the positive attitude like you know do whatever you want like I'll be here for you when you get back like and so then that makes me feel guilty because I know she's just doing that because she like like she's just being the nice person that she is and so like I don't know and then like I feel guilty holding him back Zach back from doing what he wants going where he wants to go. Sounds like your family is very supportive though which is definitely yeah how yeah family. they're definitely supportive they, they want me to get the best education and I mean, I guess I have to be nice to them because they're going to be paying for education, you know? So like that in itself makes me want to like go somewhere close because <laughs> like I, I want to be nicest to them because like I uh, myself don't have enough money to pay for this. Like I'm going to need so much debt after grad school and they're going to help me out like to pay for it right now. And so mm -hmm. yeah, I guess I want to stay close for that too. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like a very tough situation. Um, so did you want to? I guess explore more of the pros and cons of going to either or out in the west or staying. Yeah. Yeah. You can draw on the whiteboard if I guess you want to. This is like. Oh jeez. Okay. University of Washington. And Northwestern. Um, well, this is close. Oh. It's supposed to be under the other. Oops. God, it's okay. so close. Close. I don't want to be at home. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll say close to parents. And Courtney. Oh. This one is like, it's like exciting you know it's like something new and like that's what Zach wants he would love it and that in itself makes me like 100% consider the University of Washington because I want to do like I want to give him what he wants um but 
I guess far away. I kind of feel bad for him being far away from his family too, which he says that he doesn't really, like, he's close to his family, but like, he would rather go to where he wants to go. But I know he'd miss them. And his family would probably be upset too. Yeah. So. What is the situation there? I mean, like, I mean, he has a younger brother and his parents, like, he's really close with his family. He's like their firstborn child and everything. Like, I know he loves them, but boys being boys, they never really talk about, like, oh, my family's like, they close but, <laughs> so, like, I mean, I know that, like, his family would be supportive of wherever he goes, and they've been out west a ton, because his family are, or his parents are teachers, so, like, they, um, in the summertime, they went on so many road trips, and so, wow. that's the reason why Zach loves the west, is because he's been out there a lot with his family, so, I mean, I guess they would like it, because then they'd have a place to stay, to come visit, visit. yeah, so, I don't know, um, Cons for Northwestern, it's, it's like it's just in a familiar place, it's not somewhere new. Mm -hmm. That could it's also like be... It sounds like you didn't feel like it was what exactly we wanted to... It isn't, it's not what that. I mean, well, like, I'll be careful saying that because he wants, at the same time of me wanting him to pursue his dreams, he wants me to pursue my dreams, so he would never, like, like, be like, Sam, you can't do this because I don't want that. Like, he would never say that. He would always support me. So, no matter what, like, no matter where I go, I know he wouldn't care. But he would just like this better. <laughs> my parents like this one better. <laughs> and so it's just really difficult. I don't know. I mean, this one's online, so it's flexible. So, like, the option of, like, me going to Northwestern, having the first six months online, being able to like be with Zach wherever he is, and then for the year where it is in Chicago, I could be in Chicago and I could be with my, stay with my family, or at least be closer to my family for a year. And how does Zach feel about a shorter amount of time in the West? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't brought this option. I just thought of this option with you, but I guess I should talk to him about that. <laughs> it's just, it's still like, I mean, it's still a whole ways away. Mm -hmm. But I have to start applying. Um, I have to get my applications in next fall. So like this summer, I'll take like the GRE and like do all the like preparatory stuff. And like I'm gonna be in Chicago this summer, so I'm gonna tour Northwestern. And then Zach thought that I should go tour UW um, in spring break of next year, just so I would like know. But by that time, I'd have to have applied already anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, which I'm going to. Yeah, it sounded like that was your plan. Yeah. So that sounds like a, a good, a good yeah. plan to, yeah, to know. I don't know. And then I don't know about Seattle. Like, it sounds like it'd be a really cool city. I know someone who's going out there, like, for next year for grad school, and he said, like, he was so excited, and he's been out there a couple times, and he loves it. So that's really cool. And, like, Seattle's a big city, so there's a lot of options. So, like, it'll be moderately easy for Zach to find a job out there. Because, I mean, he just wants to work in industry for chemical engineering and it's pretty easy. He has a lot of like experience already, so I don't think he'll have trouble finding a job. And Chicago is also a big city and it's close to a lot of things. So that would also have a lot of options. I don't know. So it sounds like you feel like you'd be good with either. Yeah, I mean I I think I'd be happy at either one. I mean I guess I'm to be honest, I'm probably leaning more towards Northwestern just because there's more flexibility having it be online and it's in Chicago which is a place that I'll be familiar with so familiar can be over here too mm -hmm. yeah so both yeah so which one of these things I guess was the most important to you as uh, an actor definitely like my parents and like what my family thinks and like being close to my family because like like two years really isn't that long of a time but at the same time, like, it is kind of long and, like, <coughs> going through a lot of, like, changes and, like, my mom would, like, would be so excited to hear about everything I'm doing in school and, like, be able to, like, see me and, like, everything. Because like, she's in the medical profession too, she's a physical therapist, so, I don't know. Yeah. Sounds like you'd be, like, you've lot to think about and even the stress of applying as well. Yeah, I mean, applications are stressful, but <coughs> I have like, 
onto your hours up the butt, out the butt, whatever you, whatever it is. I have so many, so like I'm not concerned much with like that part of a mine. So I think that'll help. And definitely when I have this summer, I'll be working at or I have an internship at a hospital in Chicago. It's really closely affiliated with Northwestern. So like that in itself would like boost me over the edge, I suppose, especially for Northwestern. So I'd say I'd probably have a better chance of getting into Northwestern than I do University of Washington. And how would you feel if you um, just got into Northwestern a bit? I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd be happy with that. I'd be fine. I'd, my choice would be made, and there you go. Don't worry about it. I'd be happy. That's good. That's good. Um, so did you want to tell me a little more about um, what you like about those schools um, in terms of helping you make your decision? Besides just yeah. the location, um, the program in general, you said you haven't toured the uh, University of Washington. Mm -hmm. I guess that would make a difference having toured the school. But um, I've been to Chicago a couple times, like just the city, but I've also been to Northwestern's campus. They have like a campus in Evanston, which is like like above Chicago, it's a different city, but they their like school of medicine where the prosthetic stuff is is like in Chicago. Mm -hmm. So I've like seen the building. I haven't actually gone in, but I've flipped a lot. Like I've explored Northwestern's um, program a ton, and like it's just like they have a lot of hands-on stuff. Like the first six months is all online, which is interesting because like learning online is a lot different than learning in a classroom. Yeah. How do you feel about? That part of it. I mean, like, it's exciting because it allows me to, like, live wherever I want and be a lot more flexible, but at the same time, like, it'll be difficult because it's not like there's going to be professors I can, like, go in and, like, have explain things to me, and so, like, I mean, everything would be over email, I suppose, and, but at the same time, it's kind of just, like, just course, it's not necessarily, like, I mean, I guess it is important courses because we'll be, like, learning about, like, there's like a different section for like, actually wait a second, I feel like it would be kind of just more like general medical based courses. And then when you go in for 12 months, that's where you do like your like hands on experience and learning about like the different types of amputations. Okay. So I don't know, I guess like it would be challenging, definitely. Like Northwestern is a prestigious school and it's really hard to get in, and so like I know it would be a challenging curriculum, especially that's online. So how, how do you think it would affect your ability to learn the material? It'd probably be harder to learn online. <laughs> I don't think it'd be easier. It'd probably be harder. And then that, like I mean, I guess thinking about like where I would live, that would be like the best learning environment. Mm -hmm. Probably would have to be somewhere like close to home, because I don't have to worry about anything else, and then you probably won't get distracted. Ugh, that's difficult, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of different factors to consider, for sure. Yeah. Um, but do you, have you toured, or you said you haven't toured them, but do you know about their program at all at um, University of Washington? I can't remember, I looked at it, but I don't remember really. It, it looked like it had like most of the same courses as they did here. Um, the difference being that it's all, there's no online, so it's all like in, in the house. the same sort of setup though, as far as the... I think so. I think it follows the same general like 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 procession of classes. Like take like the more like biomechanics stuff, and then like you slowly get into like actually like the different types of amputations, and then you like okay. so yeah. Is that the what about the hands on stuff? Is that with yeah yeah? Hands? There's still at least I think there's like still hands on stuff. I think I don't know. I'll, I guess I'll have to look at that more. I have to look at University of Washington more. It's kind of been like a new thought, but. I've been busy lately, so I haven't yeah. been able to look at it, but, but, but I guess that's a, good, that's a good plan. So it sounds like you feel like the hands-on stuff is very important or something you'd be most excited about, is that? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a more exciting way to learn, for sure. So that's something you look for in school, maybe, even, or is that something you... Yeah, I would definitely look for hands-on stuff in the school. Um, yeah, because then they probably have a lot more. Um, just opportunities to get involved and then also like when you apply someplace for residency, I mean, 
I could tell them that I've already had all these hands-on experiences, so I'm well qualified to work somewhere. Yeah. And it sounds like you're very confident with your um, experience that you've got working with the hospital that's affiliated with Northwestern, so yeah, I, said it's a good yeah. program. So. Yeah, I mean, I think that would definitely give me a leg up in my yeah. applications, for sure. Yeah. So any other positive things about your application that you think will make you a good fit for either program besides you lots of experiences and I guess the experience is really what I have going for me. Um, I'm sure that other applicants have a lot of experience too, but I think that like what sort of things do they consider? Do um, they definitely look at um, your GPA, which mine could be higher. I I think I have like a three seven seven or something. That's still that's very good still. Yeah, it's good, but I don't I don't know. I don't know if it's it's good enough, <laughs> but um, like they consider like that. And, so. Yeah, I guess it's yeah, it's good enough to be competitive. They look at your GRE scores, but they don't like look at them like a lot. They just like kind of a glance to make sure you're like in a certain range, which I haven't even really thought about the GRE. Besides, I know I'm taking it sometime this summer. <laughs> um, and then I guess they, I think they have to write essays, so they look at essays. Oh. But I think experience is the thing that really makes a difference. And um, the exciting thing is that um, the person that I'm observing right now, who's in Baraga, he's close, um, he told me that next year, if I want to volunteer again, which I do, he'll like def he's going to focus on preparing me for um, prosthetic school. So he's going to let me like start like doing, actually like making things and like get, getting a ton of hands-on experience. like. Like making casts and like modifying and all the stuff that you have to do and like just giving me a leg up in the fabrication of things because like with prosthetics it's a lot of like I mean knowing like the medical stuff and like how to interact with clients but also like you have to be able to like fabricate things and like almost like a mechanical engineer type of stuff so he's gonna like try to help me a lot in there so that will will be easier for me so that's really awesome and exciting so I guess like just like developing those skills before I go to school is going to be helpful. Mm, sounds like I'm pretty confident in your ability or like that will give you a good... Yeah, I do so. hope. <laughs> so I got on that. Yeah, definitely, for sure. So. Alright, well, uh, we're almost out of time. Is there anything else you wanted to discuss about um, choosing schools or looking at uh, anything? I don't, I don't know. I'm just... I guess I'll just have to wait and see for where I get in. I suppose that's going to be the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for taking time to talk to me today.